We're now in another section in our Revit Structure Advanced course, and for that reason, I've created a new central file called Central 3. You can see it there at the top of the screen. The reason I've called it Central 3 is to distinguish it from the other central Revit models that we've had in previous videos. You'll find it on your DVD in the appropriate section or in your downloaded files off the internet if you've downloaded this course from the internet. What we're going to look at is visibility and display options that we can use while we're work sharing with our work sets and our work set related projects. Controlling work set visibility is very, very easy. You either type VV or VG for the visibility graphics dialog box. Now, you will only get the work sets tab here if you've got work sharing enabled within the project. Now, we know that we have, it's our central file that we're using on this particular Revit project, so we're fine there. Now you'll see that we've got the various work sets available to us here, like so. So there's our work sets there, and we can control their visibility here in the visibility settings. Now at the moment, we're just using the global setting, visible. But if I click here and click on the flyout, I can change those settings. I can show them or I can hide them. So if I click to show like that, that will show in the appropriate file or user based local file. So if I set all of these to show, what will happen is they're then all available in this particular project. So I'll apply that and I'll OK that now. So they're all showing in this particular Revit project. Now, if I went into users and set up local files, they would also show depending on which user had permission for that particular work set. So what we're doing there is we're setting up element visibility in the views, and it's very, very easy. As I said, you just type VV or VG, it opens up the dialog, and as long as you've got work sharing enabled, you will have your work sets tab here. And all you're doing is setting the visibility setting for each work set within the project itself. Now I'm setting these up in the central model file. You can also change visibility in the local files as well. Now, I haven't saved out any local files in this case. There's no real need to, but you can see how it works. It's very easy to find, and it's very easy to set up. Notice you've also got selection buttons, all or none, and you can invert the actual settings as well. So if I invert those like that, visibility settings, I can select all, and so on and so forth. So that's how you set up your visibility settings for your work sets in your work set related projects.